Grammy Award winning rapper Drake is taking on a new role representing Toronto. He's about to be a global ambassador, business partner and consultant for the Raptors, all in hopes of giving our team some game. Stephen D'Souza is live outside the Air Canada Centre. Stephen, can the rapper save the Raptors? Well, Jay-Z had some success turning the New Jersey Nets into the Brooklyn Nets, and the Raptors are hoping the same can happen here. You know, Toronto is often considered a far-flung outpost in NBA circles, and they're hoping a man used to the center stage can put the city and the team in the spotlight. Started from the bottom, now my whole team in. Every a hip-hop superstar, a Grammy house, winner who sold millions of records, Toronto's own Drake knows what it's like to be on top. He's agreed to be point guard during training camp. <laughs> and now the Raptors are hoping his success can sell the city and boost the franchise. Everywhere I go, uh, I preach the gospel that is Toronto. I love this city with all my heart. Speaking of Toronto, Toronto a longtime great, fan who's no stranger sports. to the team, Drake is now the Raptors' global ambassador. It's not just something for the sake of all the cameras. I, I'm, I'm extremely dedicated to uh, the Raptors. Part consultant, part cheerleader, he'll help the Raptors rebrand. The name will stay, but a new logo and colors are coming. He's exactly what we need, which is he gives us a immediate change in our environment and our culture and our image. It's an image that's taken a beating, just one playoff appearance in its history, and the team has had trouble attracting big-name stars. Drake counts some of the NBA's elite players as friends and fans, so having him on board could convince some Toronto is the place to be. I would love nothing more than to bring a, a championship to Toronto. That would be a, a dream, where I'm sure, for, our, for all of us up here. This sports marketer says Drake has the Midas touch. When Drake wore the Toronto Blue Jays ball cap on the Vibe cover, the Blue Jays reported sales of that ball cap went through the roof. Drake could have the same effect for this team and for this brand. The players are happy to have him on board. It's a local celebrity. He's big time and just have him, you know, work, work, work with the organization is going to be fun for everybody. But when it comes to building a winning team, it will take more than a chart-topping hit. I think what helps attract players is success on the court. And that doesn't come from any marketing whiz. It doesn't come from any color scheme, any logo. It comes from guys playing better. Now, Drake today actually overshadowed a big announcement that Toronto is getting the 2016 NBA All-Star Game. So the team knows it has to start winning before the team puts its spotlight here on the Air Canada Centre for that weekend. And coincidentally, that season is also when the team will debut its new look and colours, something that Drake and others are right now hard at work on. Reporting live from the Air Canada Centre, I'm Stephen D'Souza. Right, let's win some games now. Thank you, Stephen.